Welcome to this Getting Started video about the sales workflow in QuickBooks Online. Making sales is critical to the success of your small business clients. It is also important to make sure that the customer payment is recorded accurately and that the payment is deposited. These three transactions make up the customer sales workflow. In this video, you'll learn how to create sales invoices for customers, receive customer payments, and make deposits. Let's review how to record an invoice in QuickBooks. First, click the Create menu and then click Invoice. The invoice form displays. Most of the entries your clients make in QuickBooks will be done on forms like this one. It keeps it simple for them. By filling in the fields on the form, QuickBooks makes the correct accounting entry and gives your client a form that can be printed or emailed to their customer. Choose the customer you are creating the invoice for. You see that the customer information is added to the form. Enter the date. Now choose the product or service that the customer is purchasing. The description, rate, and sales taxes are automatically entered. Enter the quantity if necessary. There are several optional fields on the invoice that your client can use if needed. After completing the invoice form, click Save and Close. The invoice is now recorded in the accounts receivable and can be easily tracked by your client. The next step in the sales workflow is to receive the customer payment. Click the Create menu and then click Receive Payment. Choose the customer, enter the payment date, and then choose the payment method of how the customer paid the invoice. You can choose from a variety of payment methods. Enter the reference number to record the check number or other transaction number. Then choose Undeposited Funds. The Undeposited Funds account will save the payment until it is recorded as part of a deposit that will be the final step in the process. Now enter the payment amount in the amount received. If the customer pays in full, you can also select the invoice that they are paying and QuickBooks automatically enters the amount received. Click Save and Close. The last step is to deposit the payment. To make the deposit, click the Create menu and then Bank Deposit. Enter the date of the deposit. Now select the payments that are being deposited on this deposit, including the recent payment that was recorded. If necessary, you can add other items to the deposit that are not customer deposit items. Now click Save and Close to complete the transaction. This completes the three steps in the customer workflow. 